This conference will now be recorded. Basically, what is DevOps? So why, what uh, like you know happened before DevOps and uh, exactly uh, what DevOps means? What are all like you know uh, makes difference DevOps most popular in DevOps and cloud? Okay, that we will discuss today. So uh, we are like you know regularly uh, like you know using the term DevOps. What is this exactly? DevOps, right? So it's it's a combination of two things. Okay, so development and plus operations. Okay? Development and ops team, development teams and ops teams. What is this operations team, right? Ops teams. First of all, come to basically DevOps. So as we discussed, so as you like you know it is not as DevOps is not a single tool. Okay. DevOps is a single, not a single tool or not a single technology. Okay, not a single tool, not a single technology. Not a single technology. And what is DevOps? See, not a single tool or single technology. Suppose if you see thing a single technology means so if you know about Java and uh, like you know, so it's not you cannot say Java, DevOps is like you know one single uh, uh, technology kind of thing, right? Like Java, if you suppose take, if you take .NET, suppose if you are working on Java, you can say I'm a Java developer, I'm working with you know Java project. The same thing here. If you are working with .NET projects, then you can you can say I'm a .NET developer. But here in DevOps, you can't say like you can't specific like you know you can't specify exactly I am working for you no know, one tool like Docker, Kubernetes. You won't say that, okay? So that is not happened with DevOps. So it is not a single technology like Java .NET, and it is not a single tool. So what is this tool means? Suppose uh, uh, like uh, if you take uh, IDE, okay? So what is this IDE? Integrated Development environment. Okay. Integrated development environment. So what it is saying, uh, if you take Eclipse, okay. So Eclipse is one IDE or a tool. Okay. So Eclipse is IDE or tool. So where Java developers they are going to develop the Java projects. Okay. So for this is for Java developers, Java projects, right? If they are going to Java developers, they are going to Java, like you know, develop the Java. Java projects. At the same time, for .NET also, other IDE is there, like not using the Visual Studio Code. Not only .NET, you can do Python, whatever it may be, but most of the time, like you know, VS Code, we can call it as this is from Microsoft. Okay, this is from Microsoft. So here, .NET developers are they are going .NET developers they are going to develop .NET projects again. Our DevOps, we cannot call it as a single tool. Okay, so you say like you know, so you are working with some even VS Code also we are working so we can say okay uh, I am working with VS Code so means the DevOps we are going to develop in VS Code no that is again that is wrong okay so it is not a even single tool also it's a combination of multiple tools here yeah, tools in the sense like uh, like you know a docker is providing separate UI Kubernetes is providing separate UI that we can call it as a tool right Terraform have, has its own own like you know UI uh, GUI uh, not only from uh, Linux thing you can you can make it from you know Windows also right so this like you know uh, these things like uh, uh, makes the difference okay so you should understand before jump into the DevOps okay so DevOps is not a single tool or DevOps is not a single technology then what is DevOps so DevOps is the then what is DevOps DevOps is combination of multiple tools okay combination of multiple tools and uh, they collaborate with each other and they are going to like you know deliver the process okay that is end to end from development stage to delivery stage each and every phase you are going to add you are going to work with a different set of tools combination of multiple tools and you are going to implement your devops pipelines okay so this is actually exactly uh, what is devops means like technically like you know it is not a tool or technology or terminology and again this is one set of answer okay so combination of multiple tools and even again it is a like you know uh, we can call it as a cultural change so devops we can call it as you know cultural change why because like you know cultural change so what is this cultural change we will see okay so as we discussed right you know so before devops suppose uh, DevOps was invented, right? So DevOps was not invented. So it starts a process, right? So before DevOps, there will be Agile methodology, right? So and before Agile, right? You no, know, 
there will be a waterfall methodology is there for SDLC or project and entire development life cycle. So waterfall model. Later agile come into picture. Then DevOps. I'm not saying agile is over, but even agile is also using in our DevOps process. Agile is a separate, you know, kind of methodology as a process where you are following. But DevOps is again a separate, uh, uh, like you know. A kind of process where you can develop your project from end to end in an automation way end to end in an automation way see always industry like you know uh, moves towards automation right so that's the reason devops become more popular because in this pipeline end to end you are going to do in an autom autom uh, automation way without manual intervention okay so this is exactly what happened before devops okay so now uh, we are going to discuss about little bit uh, briefly waterfall and agile methodology then how devops was you know uh, like then how devops will come into picture so why it becomes more popular we will see those things okay so exactly what is development team and what is operations team also we will see okay so uh, go here yeah so this is a document i want to show you so this is if you see traditional waterfall model so why devops basically so why devops see devops is like uh, you know before devops as we discussed there so if you go back to like you know 30 years back like you know uh, uh, three decades back 30 35 years when you think about it just starting like you know that is the boom for it just started not only boom at that time they want to follow one uh, like you know process right so for developing the project so they have only one option is waterfall model that time okay so what is that waterfall model and why like you know uh, that time uh, how they use the waterfall model we'll discuss a little bit like you know uh, clearly about here okay waterfall model so if you take any project you know uh, development so there will be a different different phases of entire one minute guys one minute yeah sorry so there will be a different different uh, you know uh, phases in your uh, software development life cycle if you see here you can start from requirement and gathering analysis this is the first phase requirement gathering right and the second phase would be design phase and implementation phase testing phase and deployment phase and you know maintenance phase there are like you know a wide variety of different different uh, you know phases or stages in your uh, project in your project life cycle if you see requirement gathering and analysis so suppose just imagine so what happened what is going to happen when when you start with requirements gathering the requirements and also you are going to uh, check with clients right so uh, regularly on calls and you are going to get the requirements so this thing it is going to happen just imagine this particular phase two months it went for two months then later after two months like you know they are going to start design phase based on the requirement whatever they got the inputs inputs from the client and or any like you know SMEs or tech orgs and all or business analysts especially not tech orgs so business analysts so uh, senior business senior BS and all so finally you have your clear requirement and uh, you started design so who is going to design this so this, this took this particular requirement and analysis of your you know it took uh, just imagine two months time just okay mm, then uh, we jumped in they jumped into the design phase so this design phase here again uh, it is here it is little bit technical right so it is going to design by your uh, project uh, you know uh, technical right so uh, the high level design document hdd will be there so that is going to design by your uh, technical architects like if it is a java project then they are going to create uh, uh, like you know uh, hdd for java and after that they are going to make it into ldd low level design document that is make it by like you know developers or module did something but here this is a very uh, like you know important phase and uh, typical also why because here the decisions what are all the tools and technologies you are going to use and all that decision is going to take a place by here in the designing phase right so again imagine this went again two months time see here the what i am trying to say here is in waterfall model each and every phase is interdependent on the previous phase suppose without suppose see you started requirement gathering and 
before like you know without requirements you cannot start your uh, you know parallelly or other you, are, you cannot able to take uh, like you know other requirement and all. so completely it is like one way direction okay kind of thing like you know so without implementing or without completing your first phase you cannot you cannot like you know start the second phase without completing the second phase again so it won't allow you like you know it is not possible to go with other phase right because that is what our waterfall model is saying so each and every phase is interdependent on the previous phase so that is the major drawback so here what is the problem see this particular phase one took two months time this will also uh, uh, like you know it went for two months this is also two months. so till you know till testing phase almost two months two months two months six months is like you know this tester sit, should sit ideal without any work means that client is unnecessarily paying money from their pocket and uh, like you know they are wasting their money and they are wasting their efforts and time also but even though client is ready to like you know spend even that time they accepted and uh, so uh, even so many projects like big monolithic projects in like 30 years back they followed this one only but again the main drawback is not only like you know wasting of money and waiting time and also that is fine but uh, when the testing phase like almost six months later or it might be it will take nine months sometimes the final testing will go even years it will take that time okay so two years three years. after three years they came to know like okay there will be a big issue like you know there will be a bug there is a major bug in this particular application so that will again throw back to this development team and development team again throw back to design team and design like again it will go to this client so client also okay might be yes this is correct only might be we are uh, so we need to change the design then after two three years how how like you know you can imagine that again changing this because so many developers move to other company and uh, uh, so so whoever developed the things so modifications and all it is like you know there is no proper kind of tracking and also all these things this makes you know a hectic in this waterfall model like you know uh, the major disadvantage no. two disadvantages right so these two are uh, these two things are major disadvantages like uh, uh, it is dependent on each and so each and every phase is interdependent on uh, uh, the previous phase and if anything happened in between like you know, after three four months or after three four years so definitely there will be a big issue and again all the phases will go back and again they will come from first stage only till that time again your development team and testing team should sit ideally so this is the problem with waterfall model okay so if you see this uh, limitations of waterfall model is high amounts of risk and internal and it is uncertainty right no so if you go with this particular waterfall model uh, you should face the high risk high risk means this is the problem okay this is the problem so if anything happened after one year two years any issue then it will be like you know going back and working with that uh, thing it is difficult for you know entire Okay. Now, so this is one thing. Ashwa, can you please go mute? Yeah. yeah, see here, high amounts of risk and uncertainty. So this is the problem. And here, one more important point you should remember. So it is not good for, you know, it is not a not good model for complex and object oriented projects means like if you take java projects or any other object oriented programming languages for developing projects this particular you know waterfall model is not at all suitable so it is not you know good for complex and uh, object oriented projects so this is one important point you should remember and no working software is produced like you know until the late during the cycle life cycle so as we discussed so there is so it will take much time like you know, it will take so much time to like you know uh the, the produce this you know it is going to take late kind of thing during this entire life cycle right so once application is in the testing stage it is very difficult to go back and change something that was not well like you know thought out on the concept of the stage suppose yeah same thing so here if something happened if testing is going on you cannot go back and do something because you are you should lock in the testing phase so remaining other phases should be like you know completely locked stage. so only testing is going to happen here now so that is what uh, uh, explaining here okay so this is the points and not suitable for you know projects where requirements are at a moderate to high risk changing so frequently if your project is like you know 
uh, changing this design and all then those kind of projects this waterfall model is not at all suitable that is what explaining here okay then uh, traditionally like you know you have a development model challenges like uh, waterfall model uh, challenges new phase in the development process begins only if the previous phase is complete see again see uh, as we discussed so each and every phase is imp uh, interdependent and without completing this phase so this implementation it won't start okay so that is have uh, explaining here this particular slide okay just go through this then waterfall model challenges if you see these challenges huge waiting time for code deployment why because see where are you now exactly code deployment means where you are going to do see this is what this is the last before stage so it will take years of time this particular phase uh, if you reach this uh, like this particular phase it took almost one and a half year to two years sometimes some sometimes it would take like you know three months also why because it is like sorry three years also it's a very big project just imagine then it is like you know uh, it will take much time so much time to reach this particular deployment phase so reach this deployment phase and pressure of work on old and pending code okay so see after three years something you figure it out and the client want to change the code then what happened so again you should go back to all phases right so just here you see so you from the so something happened in deployment again you should go to this testing phase implement everything suppose for you want to change the code after three years like you know few team members like you know moved out from your project or company then again new team members come and you know understand the code and implementing the things that is like you know uh, kind of a difficult uh, thing so here uh, in uh, waterfall model okay pressure on world okay pressure work on world and the pending code so if any code is pending then it will be like you know uh, so developers uh, feels the pressure or even project and the team will like you know the pressure is going on in this project in this kind of waterfall model so waterfall model challenges here so difficult to maintain uptime of the production environment and it will take like you know uh, maintain your uptime in a, especially in your uh, no, production environment and tools to automate infrastructure management are not effective at time and difficult to diagnose and provide the feedback on the product so this is a little bit confusion will happen because you don't know what happened in each and every phase and number of servers to be like you know monitored increases here that time like you no know, so you should maintain the different number of i mean more servers to monitor your you know uh, the application and this is a little bit challenges like you know what you are going to face with the waterfall model if you go with waterfall model to overcome that okay so introduced okay agile methodology so what is exactly agile methodology is saying that you see in agile methodology each project is broken up into several iterations right so like they are going to make into small pieces of your uh, not going with big monolithic or you know deliverables might be it will take they won't focus on one year one and a half year deliveries so they are going to focus on every week delivery means they are going to make it into pieces right so broken up into several iterations we can call it as pieces in the sense several several iterations so they are going to make it into iterations and if you see all iterations should be of the same time duration minimum between like you know two to eight weeks so so maximum is eight weeks means two months once delivery otherwise 15 days delivery but nowadays everyone will, will following like you know one day delivery uh, sorry one week delivery sometimes in weekly two times like wednesday and uh, friday deliveries will be also there so again they are going to make it into microservices if you say if you're working on microservices kind of architecture projects definitely there will be a minimum weekly one release should be there otherwise if that is project is like you know quick they are going to uh, eagerly want to close the project and they are going to go with you know short short uh, deliverables also right so at the end of each iteration working product should be delivered so end of each iteration finally a small chunk of code you are going to like you know uh, deploy that code so that particular is going to deliver okay so here the only thing is as a layman words what we discussed here is so without going with you know big project simply make your project into break into like you know a small several several small small pieces and we can call it as iterations and you can deliver accordingly that is exactly what agile methodology is saying okay now limitations of agile methodology so what it is saying now you are you know uh, development work is over right so your development work is over 
development team is like you know free now so what development manager is going to do so finally they are going to do uh, uh, final uh, well, uh, final kind of testing right so that is done so application is working uh, very good in your development environment now the same application is going to like you know share to this operations team but it is going to uh, send to operations team for uh, the next level of things right now uh, different stages will be there right in this dlc so it is going to go with operations team this operations team what this guy is doing operations team manager is going to do he is going to again check the code in their environment right now development team manager development team they verified it is working fine but the same code when they uh, like you know shared with other team members like special operations team it won't it is not working properly then there will be like you know uh, conflict is going to happen means like so it is working in development environment but it is not working in uh, operations kind of not the operations environment why what is the problem then here blame game will start so okay, this development manager start saying that okay it is working in my environment even i can show that okay it is working fine but you are saying it is not working what can we do now because see here uh, like you know this is like you know these guys why it is working in their environment why because these are all like you know they develop the project they are like technically strong and uh, they are technical guys okay so uh, suppose if you take java spring boot or microservices uh, restful api project complete back end or any type uh, java full stack uh, application development so you need to add different different jar files here right so jar files are uh, other packages dependencies something it, if, if it shows any error in the development environment you are going to add those like you know uh, kind of uh, uh, dependencies and supporting files and you can make it the application run successfully right but if you come to this same application here operations team they don't know about the technology so because they haven't developed the core simply they are running try to run the core but that is not working there why because there is no proper support of environment because they need other supporting files even though they packaged everything sometimes their environment it won't support so then like you know this kind of blame game was happened like you know uh, long back even even i faced that okay so sometimes the application code whatever i developed so it is working in my laptop but the same code when we like you know uh, move to some other environments it won't work so here that's what so he wants stability but here the stability is missing right the stability is missing and the solution is what now now what is the solution for this the solution is devops what devops is saying see collaboration of development team and operations team and they are going to work together they are going to like you know deliver the project smoothly so this is what exactly devops is say so this is now exactly devops see devops is like you know collaboration of this development team earlier both are different see as per this diagram both are separate separate there will be a wall in between like you know just imagination okay so there will be a gap there will be a layer in between development team and your uh, operations team but if you after collaborating with the devops solution right so after you know using this devops methodology so or devops process you can say like development team and operations team they both work together they both collaborate with each other and they run the process smoothly okay this is the solution for agile after agile right so now development without devops culture suppose if there is no devops culture see releases and deploy mismatch see the release and deploy definitely there will be a mismatch and unpredictable issues so that's what as we discussed in operations team in other environment so you cannot expect the issues and blame game as we discussed right so as a development manager i can say it is working in my environment so why not in your environment right so in operations team so see here both are correct only so see whatever uh, their point of view like you know development manager what, what development team what they are saying that is correct working there but here it is not working and lack of monitoring and like you know uh, like uh, other kind of you know monitoring and uh, uh, so blindly you are like you know see the this thing this diagram so lack of monitoring means they are like you know monitoring this kind of applications is like you know little bit uh, 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 gap in agile right uh, like you know without uh, devops culture now development with devops culture what will happen streamlined deliveries like you know smooth deliveries and teamwork and collaboration as we discussed development team and operations team they are going to like collaborate like, together and going to they are going to release the project smoothly and continuous monitoring and feedback so here there will be a continuously monitoring is going to happen and continuously feedback also 
uh, like you know everything i will show that okay just wait for some time so here so from project development stage to still monitoring stage, stage your dogs pipelines like you know it is going to completely tightly coupled with each and every phase like with using devops tools i will show that okay that is what uh, benefit where you are going to go with devops Azure. now exactly now what is devops so we discussed very clearly about what what happened before devops we started with waterfall methodology we started with you know agile methodology then we jump into this devops now what is exactly devops if you see first of all what is not devops see what is not devops is not devops is not a role or a person or an organization you can't say devops is like a devops engineer then i can say it's a devops no it's not like that it's not a single person also and it's not an organization also so devops is not a separate thing so you cannot say devops is not i mean i am the devops team and uh, this is my thing like that no you can't say devops is not a separate thing so you, devops devops engineer is going to involve in all the like you know development team they are going to collaborate with the development testing team all the teams they are going to collaborate otherwise it won't happen okay devops is not a product or tool as we discussed right so as we discussed if you see here so devops is not a tool or not a technology right devops is not a tool or not a technology or not a product also right so product in the sense what so anything you develop suppose uh, any uh, application suppose if you take a zomato or a flipkart so you can call it as a, as a product right so any new product you invented you cannot say that is a like you know devops and devops is not about uh, just writing the scripts or implementing tools okay this is important point so some like you know someone feels that some other you know uh, who don't know about the devops so devops means only writing the scripts okay writing the scripts and uh, uh, deploy your code no you even you can't say that that is not a devops okay or implementing tools means you are you are going to learn wide variety of uh, uh, market trending tools like docker kubernetes terraform azure devops pipeline so these are all like you know you can't say a single thing okay this is like you no know, uh this tool is you now we can call it as a devops no you cannot say like that okay so these are all like you know what is not devops then what is devops exactly what is the definition about the devops technically so devops is a practice like that allow a single team to manage entire application development life cycle that is development stage from testing deployment and monitoring so these are all four different you know in the development life cycle right development testing deployment monitor each and every phase again i am repeating the definition exactly what is devops now devops is a practice that allows a single team who is going to manage the entire application development life cycle means this devops team or devops team members they are going to involve in each and every phase of your sdlc software development life cycle that is nothing but development testing deployment monitoring all these four phases like you know this devops team is going to involve here okay that is nothing but exactly technically please understand this okay exactly what is devops devops is now you can you can call it see devops is a practice it is not a team or something it's, it's a best practice allows a team a single team to manage entire application development life cycle right so this is exactly what is devops then if you see this what do, what does devops do so what exactly devops is doing here see integrates developers and operations team right so as we discussed if you see this diagram go back this diagram so this is it integrates development team and operations team right it is going to collaborate in these two teams right so that is the one point what devops is doing here right what does devops is what does devops do and improves collaboration and productivity by automatic infrastructure automating your workflows right and continuously measuring application performance so this is exactly like what it is going to do with devops if you see this image diagram okay see here this is kind of you know kind of a cycle so first starts with plan code build again test release deploy operate monitor it is going to happen continuously from planning stage to monitoring stage it is going to happen plan code build test release deploy operate monitor so each everything is going to happen continuously what is this i will show you continuously it is going to happen right now benefits of devops so what is the benefits you are going to get okay so cost avoidance accelerated innovation right flexibility agility and speed right so you are going to develop your project like in a speed kind of manner and it efficiency these are all the benefits so and devops adoption this image is little bit important what is this devops adoption see devops is adopted cultural transformation process transformation 
right technology transformation suppose if you see uh, technology transformation now devops is uh, earlier if you learn devops tools and if you say if you put your resume as a devops engineer might be five years six years back might be you will get a job that time but here after like you know cloud becomes nowadays popular and each and every area you are going to use cloud right so that's why you should like you know devops also like you know adopt the cloud things also and there it is supporting for cloud also right so if you take now we are, uh, we are going to discuss entire course azure devops right so because so learning after learning on premise tools after learning the four tools then you are going to implement those things in cloud how you are going to do so that will make you like you know more you know uh, uh, kind of uh, demand in the market so if you learn with devops tools along with cloud that we are going to learn here and automate everything so 24 by 7 your application is continuously monitored from you know development stage to monitoring stage so this is going to happen continuously so you can automate everything and adoption of new tools okay so it is uh, always devops is again it is going to ready to adopt the things new things okay so these are the what devops is adopting and cultural transformation see here it is ex explaining okay devops is what devops is a uh, like you know it is saying what is exactly cultural uh, transformation so you just go through the slide so if you can understand so technology transformation what happened uh, you know uh, technically uh, with the devops and automate everything so you can do you can automate uh, everything right and adoption of tools so if you see devops teams and you know have a separate tool sets and metrics it is necessary to integrate all the tools properly to make testing deployment right and building on all work together in a continuous manner so it means here it is going to adopt a wide variety of tools to right you know to deliver the things properly right and devops current scenario so if you see uh, devops all organizations suppose are enterprise level 80 percent 81 percent of all the companies right adopting devops adopting devops culture right but if you see this is uh, if you see this considering the uh, changing pace of IT landscape almost the companies require fast pace because DevOps is like you know end to end from starting development to monitoring stage everything you are going to monitor okay so this is exactly showing right and uh, we move forward yeah the salary and all salary trend and all so this is little bit old you know diagram old image uh, according to the payscale.com this is one of the uh, popular uh, uh, you know they are doing some researches and all okay so what they mentioned just two three years back i think so the uh, like you know the professionals after you know they are getting almost you know lakh twenty seven us dollars but uh, this was increased now okay so even last week when i opened dice and were verified like you know whatever the really, whatever uh, the concept we added here like docker kubernetes terraform azure devops pipelines especially uh, go with Azure DevOps, okay, Azure DevOps and AKS, Azure Kubernetes cluster, Kubernetes service, so and Azure Cloud. So this makes you just go and open dice.com. So in US, so it is going to show you like you know more than 2.5 lakh, you know, uh, US dollars. So as per today current rate, that is the like you know uh, like a, a good package where in US uh, the DevOps engineers they are going to get nowadays, okay. And skills of you know uh, DevOps engineer, what are all skills required that in class in demo class we discussed very clearly i don't want to waste our time and this also i showed you here whatever uh, we are discussing the pipeline and process we are uh, talking right so here uh, this is the same thing okay uh, this is entire flow what you are going to work end of the day with devops this thing okay uh, so if you see here it is integrated everything this is what this is development see the uh, see these images here developers sitting with their laptop and they are doing some work after that completing their work they are going to like you know push the code to this uh, uh, remote repository nothing but the github so that is nothing but you know version control so source code management uh, system so from github so you are going to configure you are going to configure pipeline okay so that pipeline tool is nothing but jenkins right azure devops pipeline git actions whatever it may be so if you understand one tool then it is like cake work for you for understanding and developing this other one. but environment will be different concept is same so that's why we are focusing here more time on azure devops pipelines not on jenkins azure devops pipelines why because market I, the reason i explained very clearly in uh, demo two hours demo session go to go through that if anyone may see that 
okay so you can get more clarity about that so why i am encouraging azure devops pipeline okay so here we are going to integrate azure devops pipeline and later the same thing it is going to like you know uh, your application will be built and your application will be packaged everything and finally it is going to uh, like you know image your application would be will become image so by using the docker container so it's kind of nothing but docker now your project is the container docker container so by taking the docker container that particular image you can deploy your like you know you can in this particular image docker image you can deploy in any kind of environment okay you can run that any kind of environment you can create the container so you are going to deploy this uh, you know, docker uh, whatever docker image into this kubernetes cluster this is the final thing so once after deploying here the kubernetes cluster your application will become live okay you can able to easily access that application and uh, after that you should be like you know in the position to monitor right so your application is in live so you are going to monitor your application by using either ios or prometheus is some other monitoring tools are available in the market but we are going to discuss about uh, prometheus just i will show that what exactly right so this is the end to end end to end you know from development stage to monitoring stage so we are going to create the pipeline by using azure devops pipeline so before building this azure devops pipelines you should know about github and docker kubernetes and especially terraform for infrastructure automation right and uh, azure azure cloud also so these things as a prerequisite for general for developing your uh, pipeline so this is exact uh, you know uh, what you are going to learn after completing this course and this is the even you can consider a small project project in the sense don't then i like, think much like you know like uh, you need to do more things but you understand the cycle from end to end right from development stage to monitoring stage if you understand one small kind of example definitely you can like you know you can build on top of that and you can uh, you can elaborate the things you can you can like you know develop yourself right so this is exactly uh, i want to give you a few inputs and one more thing we are talking about devops right so development team and collaborating operating operations team so what are all stakeholders comes under this okay let me yeah this i i want to show you here uh, like you know what is exactly development team and what is operations team like you know uh, if you uh, like think about devops okay in devops uh, like methodology so who are all stakeholders uh, falls under these two development team and operations team okay just go back here if you see yeah development team so we can consider as developers and te qa testers also here the the stakeholders what they are going to do in this exactly development team means coding they are going to do they are going to testing say here see this is testing team only but in devops okay we can call it as development team means what are all stakeholders here is developers and testers and what they are going to do they are going to do the coding they are going to do the testing they are going to do the releasing they are going to the packaging and customer feedback so these are all i mean not only this i mean other other things also there but this is the like you know high level i am uh, like you know we are discussing here okay development teams what it comes under developers and qa testers they are going to do the things and what are all stakeholders comes under operations team so if you see operations teams so some system admins will come and network administrators will come db administrators database administrators will come and you know data center administrators will come right so so many uh, other stakeholders will also come so these two collaboration of development team means these two and collaboration of you know operations team we can consider it's a complete you know devops okay and one more thing uh, i want to show you here if you see sdlc or waterfall model devops is what exactly a cultural change okay because from waterfall to agile from agile to devops in between so many things happen so past 3 4 decades mean past 3 to i uh, mean 30 to 40 years if you go back there will be a change happen so it's kind of adoption okay so betterment you can call it as you know upgrade suppose we started your you know a mobile with small uh, you know nokia phone something with complete manual there is no touch right only buttons then semi like you know uh, it can uh, semi uh, semi touch phones like it having again uh, half of this team having manual and remaining is what uh, something uh, touch kind of thing now it is fully touch so tomorrow it might be not some technology so that is kind of what that is kind of a change right that is kind of a technology upgrade so technology is like you know moving very fast so that's the same thing in devops also you can call it as it's a cultural change so 
so it happens what is the cultural change we discussed very clearly just understand that okay then sdlc or waterfall model so here if you see in sdlc waterfall model all the phases in your development you know project development development stage testing stage operation all are work in isolation means that everything is manual if you see from requirement gathering stage requirement gathering design uh, coding testing deployment monitoring each and every phase is like you know manual in waterfall model okay each and every phase manual means there is no automation then if you move to agile methodology development and testing all happen like you know automation here i mean development and testing like you know continuous uh, development and continuous testing and continuous integration ca ca cd ct ca means here continuous development what is this continuous development continuous testing uh, continuous integration we will see when we talk about the pipeline but time being just understand development and testing and integration these three phases are automated okay automation but still monitoring phase the other phase the last phase like you know it is still manual in agile methodology it is still manual in agile methodology but if you come to devops right development qa and operations means here dev 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 and operations ops devops entire dev ops is automated means from starting with continuous development continuous testing continuous integration and along with continuous monitoring four phases like you know i mean typical like you know for an entire your uh, project life cycle make it as a automation way complete you are going to create a pipeline it is completely tightly coupled with all the phases de development stage testing stage integration stage and monitoring stage and everything was automated way so this is not this is what why devops becomes more popular because always is industry looking forward looking towards about automation only so that's why nowadays devops is become more popular okay so this is about exactly a little bit introduction about devops uh, just go through the document and uh, you will get uh, no more uh, information about this and if you i uh, want to show you the portal so this is uh, azure portal okay so this is i think as we discussed even as i mean in the demo, demo session this is portal.azure.com this is the official portal for azure cloud and the other one is this is pipelines okay what is azure devops pipelines so this is azure devops it is providing azure is providing separate portal which makes azure devops i mean this azure uh, devops uh, portal becomes popular okay so because here you are going to get here you are going to get project management and as well as pipelines you can do it in a single place and where clients can able to access you know client can able to uh, like uh, uh, like you know, uh, monitor their project exactly as a technically pipelines and they are going to track the application like what are the resources are doing like you know so exactly about the user stories what is the task this particular resource is doing so leads can have easily like monitor because the jira kind of environment see here work items boards backlogs so this makes difference as azure devops as a like you know uh, compared to jenkins other uh, aws devops pipelines azure devops become more popular because it is provided in a separate portal okay but remain see each and every uh, tool has its own you know identity and demand uh, but if you know whatever like you know this is a little bit market trending Uh, like you know azure devops pipeline so if you know the concept uh, even jenkins is also same but configurations and implementation is different and even if you take github github action so uh, git action so it is also nowadays very popular so again see depends on your project requirement but if you are focusing one thing we are focusing on what is uh, now it is kind of a tailor made course where what industry is expecting not only in indian market so i am like you know keep on delivering classes from us and uk students also so there like you know so market uh, like this is kind of based on that market also i am uh, it's kind of a tailor made course okay uh, so that's all for today guys okay so i need to wind off here today uh, so if you have any questions ask me uh, otherwise uh, we will connect tomorrow the uh, hi okay Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, do you have the recorded classes available in the YouTube or somewhere else? Actually, yeah, I haven't that, joined uh, the demo. So, so, so you check with uh, you know, uh, Kare Kare IT team. Yeah, they will they will provide it. You can contact with them. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Babu. 
Yeah. Hi, Babu. Uh, this is Chandra here. Uh, Hi, Chandra. So, for the next session, like uh, you'll be talking about the free trial account for Azure Azure account, so correct. that we can. Correct. Correct. Uh, I mean, we'll like tomorrow. Tomorrow. Cloud. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. I will show you. But to, uh, yeah, tomorrow we are going to discuss about the cloud. What happened exactly before cloud? So why cloud become more popular nowadays? So we need to before cloud and now with cloud era. Then we are going to start creating our uh, Azure free trial account. I will show you. Then you can create your account. Then we can. Uh, I will show you how to use uh, utilize this Azure free trial account for our labs. That is the agenda for our tomorrow class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Yeah.